Alright boys, in today's video, I took two trades. One was a dub, one was a loss. So make sure you watch until the end because I'll show my full analysis and the entries and all that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Quick bias on GU. I might be taking this. So it's more of a smaller time frame bias, but we have this level of... Uh, this level of buy side liquidity right here, which was recently taken out. I'm looking to target the one hour fair value gap down here, as well as we are holding this bearish one hour fair value gap right here and in the next 22 seconds if we close below this red line giving us a one hour break to the downside that's even more good confluence for me that i want to take a short so if we scale into our smaller time frames you can clearly see that we broke structure on the 15 minute right here and that we got we just want to see it close below here did it close yo so we just got a one hour break to the downside as well so realistically if we can get a retracement somewhere into a fair value gap Maybe we will look for an entry on this five minute fair value gap. I think that this draw is gonna get hit. I wanna take a take profit here. But yeah, honestly, retrace into here. If it's inside of our optimal trading entry, we have this level of internal buy side. I might just enter on here. TP1 here. Stops at this high. This is post news as well. New settlers price is actually bullish, so it's a bit weird. Eh? I don't know if I should trade or if I should just watch this, but I'm keen to trade. But I don't know. It doesn't seem that high probability. Fifteen minute, yeah, it's on our side. The one hour, yeah, I'd say it's on our side. The five minute, it's on our side. What about the four hour? Well, inside, currently inside of a bullish four hour for value gap. The last breaker structure was bullish on the four hour. going over what we have once again level of buy side we're holding a one hour for value gap i think banks filled shorts here i feel like they want to take take profits inside of this one hour for value gap also taking a partial off here at this draw broke structure to the downside on the 15 minute right here broke structure on the one hour right here we had a five minute fair value gap that it hasn't even retraced into <clears throat> so yeah when it comes back up into here i am going to look for an entry because there are equal highs here as well so yeah we're looking for a short if, we're, if we were to write our confluences what do we have the only thing against us is the four hours not with us so we got buy side liquidity one hour for value gap held we got 15 minute break plus one hour break we got a five fair value gap with equal highs Entry and then we're targeting a drawn liquidity. What we have against us is the four hours bullish, and then the daily. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, we took out the previous daily high to be fair. Previous daily high, as you can see right here, we took it out. Before I enter, I want to see this gap get held. All right, and then. And then, just so I have a clear conscience, I need to write. I need to write what's against us. So the four hour is breaking structure. We'll put this red, just so we can count the confluences that um, that might make us lose. The four hour. That's a super high, high. Uh, it's a very important time frame, bro. That's a very. It's a very big time frame. I don't know if I want to fucking trade if the fucking four hour is breaking structure bullish, and then it's also holding a four hour for value gap bullish. If it, if it holds this fair value gap, I'm going to be in, but... We're, we got a very big high time frame... Time frame? Is that English? We have a very big... We have the fucking four hours saying bullish. We have these confluences for a short. We did close inside of it. Alright, I'm, I'm selling. Stops are at this high right here. Take profit one is at this draw on liquidity. I don't know man, I just don't, uh, it doesn't feel great that the 4 hours not in our direction slash trend. So like, that's like the one thing I really don't, I don't like about this trade. But other than that, we have, we have a decent bearish setup I guess. It's alright. What the fuck is that?
Like, dude, if you ask, if you ask me, bro, like, honestly, I, I kind of really like talking about mental health because my mental health's really, like, changed over the years. But, like, leave, leave a comment down below if you actually, like, care about this shit or you just want me to shut up and, like, fucking let the trades play out. But, like, I'm going to say what I was thinking anyways. I know, I know some people, they, they don't even love themselves, bro. Like, it's fucking, it's, it's sad to see. But the way I see it is, like, how can you love yourself if you know you're not being the best version of yourself? Like, how can you love yourself if you know you're not reaching your full potential in terms of what you could be doing or what you are right now? I feel like that's why so many people are depressed. They're not reaching that full potential. Because they, so they, they feel like in like their soul, in their spirit, social media that they could actually be something escape more, something great. The reality that they're in. Let me tell you why I might have fucked it, okay? So I'm gonna do a different analysis right now. And it might stop me out in the meantime, but here we have the Asian low. Let's go into the smaller time frames. Here we have an internal sweep on liquidity. Right here, we don't really have displacement past this high yet, although we might have displacement past the high. No retracement, but I think I've been stopped out to be honest. Um, where's my phone? Well, we're very close to being stopped out, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you, you, you've seen what I've seen. Am I gonna, am I gonna retrade? Um, I don't, I don't think so. We'll have to wait for it, literally every single time frame to be in our bias, like the one hour to be a fake out. We need the 15 minute to break bullish. We need the five minute. And then I might be able to look for an entry, but then at that point it might it might be too late. But it's whipped it to the very okay. There we go. Well, that was fucking shit. But could be looking for long. But yeah, now we we're holding a four hour fee value gap. We have internal liquidity here right here and we have some more internal liquidity right here what do you call this like an SMT or whatever there we got internal buy side liquidity we got a 15 minute break right here and we got a nice five minute fair value gap right here and yeah I guess you could call this the the breaker block so we got like a nice little silver bullet to buy here Stop loss at this low. Where would you put your first take profit? I would put it um, probably at this five minute fair value gap. Should I retrade? Probably not. Am I going to? Probably. Is this even a good enough bias, man? I'm starting to question myself. I'm losing confidence after just getting fucking railed like that. Okay, I genuinely. I'm not gonna trade after this fair value gap's been hurt. If it, if, it, if it taps into there, I'm not trading. And what else? What else? Okay, checklist. Let's do the checklist before this time. No confidence below stop loss. Do we have any big fair value gaps below stop loss? No. Uh, there's a fair, there's a one hour fair value gap right here, but that seems a bit far down. That seems that seems excessive. But I guess there is a confidence below stop loss. Because we just broke structure to the downside on the one hour right there, I'm guessing that this is going to be a one hour break fake out. If you can give me another retest on this breaker block, I will happily press buy. So yeah, come back into the breaker block, please. I actually like this setup because it's following the four hour trend. I think the one hour is going to close above there, but I never know. It could easily, it could easily not. 15 minutes bullish, five minutes bullish. Okay, well, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna say this as well. We actually are holding a 15-minute bearish. So we, th th a few things we don't have: one-hour break or fake out, or fake out, and then 15 to value get bearish. Other than that, I'm pretty confident it's gonna go higher. If it doesn't go higher, then fuck me, bro. 
Alright, we're in. Stops to break even. Okay. Um, where's our next TP? Here. Ah, yo. Yeah, sweet. Ended today with a profit of six dollars. Let's fucking go, boys. Um, it was an average day, just good market experience, I guess. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys like this video or learn something new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and puts this video out to more people. And if you guys got any comments, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.